So, good day class. I'm sure for this week for building prototype on advanced and alternative construction systems. So, last week I received a message from a supplier regarding a new system for uh, walling. So, I found it interesting and I thought it would be relevant to you guys. So, I'll be including this in our lesson because I think uh, when the, um, you, uh, you guys will practice someday. This is a technology that is already available. So just for a brief background, I think one of the problems I have observed with the usage of the CHB here in the Philippines is that there's a problem with coming up with a, making sure that it's plumb or vertically aligned. Okay. So, and you also have to wait for the concrete to, to cure. Sometimes the plaster, there's a tendency for it to crack or, or break. Okay, so it requires a lot of supervision uh, from uh, our side to make sure that it is uh, plumb and straight. Now, that's why this is really an interesting system which I want to share with you. Okay, so we'll have an activity uh, regarding this. Okay, so I think this will help you a lot. Okay, so this is the fast wall. Uh, I think this is what the company sent me. So its size is around 2.44 by 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Just think 2.44 is quite the standard for board for boards as well. Okay, but what is really interesting is the thickness. So it comes with 75, 90, 120, and 150. Well, for me, if 75 is enough, uh, that would be great. So let's uh, continue. Okay, so according to this company, so it's made of, it's fireproof, it's water resistant and moisture proof. So it also has heat ins uh, insulation, lightweight, then the sound, then it preserves temperature also. Okay, so the housing industry, this you have what you call the traditional CHB, then the block system that be fabricated ball okay, the, when you use traditional CHB class that's what I've said earlier that it's quite problematic because it requires a lot of supervision so let's see what are the advantages here uh, also the traditional CHB is also expensive okay so according to them there are seven uh, advantages of a uh, prefabricated wall it's, it's eco-friendly it's uh, financial saving, it's flexible, it's consistent in quality, it reduce site disruption, shorter construction time, so I agree with this, and of course safety. Okay, so these are usually the problem. These are usually the problems that I have seen earlier with traditional CHP, which I have encountered in my twelve years uh, and my ten years of uh, experience and practice as an architect. So usually you see cracks, then this one it's really problematic, the wall misalignment. Then, of course, the messy work site. It's, it's really hard to control your people class, especially the construction people uh, on site to arrange. To arrange so it would require a lot of effort, a tremendous amount of effort. Okay. Then you also have cost overruns. Then right now, there are shortages of skilled uh, workers because most of them, they're going to Saudi Arabia and other countries. So those, those are the really skilled ones. And it's also time consuming. Okay, so according to them, there are three steps in installing the panel. First, you're going to clean the site, planning and check out, staging of material and preparation of tools. Then you have the installation. According to them, it, you just need to cut, apply adhesive, panel and dowel installation, and checking for alignment. This is really important, the alignment part. Okay. This is a big problem here in the Philippines. This is something that I've encountered also with some of our construction project uh, projects, especially in monitoring the people that reside. So it, sometimes you tend to go over budget for your projects because of this. And clean up installation site all ready for painting or routing of plumbing and electrical drop-ins. So these are the steps and in installations. Uh, I'm going to show you some picture, guys, on how they did it. 
So when you lay out your CHB, it's really messy. Okay. But if you can, as you can see here, it's more orderly. It's uh, it could be done with lesser people. So I, I received the brochure and it states that it only uh, it requires only two people to do 45 square meters of walling in a day. Okay, so these are the materials. So when you uh, graduate some day class and then you become architects, or even before you become architects, I I encourage you to um, save and invest in power tools. Okay, so you really need this one. Okay. Good brands is Bosch. Uh, Makita is also nice. So you save on uh, in the purchase of power tools. Then you practice on how to use them. But one problem class in the handling of power tools is that you must really train your people in the site to understand how to care and how to use these tools. Okay? So it's not as easy uh, as just giving them the power tool and then just use it. Because here in the Philippines, the problem is that most people, they don't know how to take care of their stuff and how to maintain. So you really have to do be strict with the maintenance. Okay, so this is the methodology, so the panel installation. Okay, so they said here that it's uh, affected by the installation technique. So a distance of five to six meters, so these are the details. So according then to them, it's 0. 0.6 by 2.4. So it's three meters height, five to six meters width. Okay, then let's see the how we're going to join them. Okay. So the height of six meters. Okay. So this is how they're going to join. So there's a technique on how to do it. Later on, I'll require you to look into the details of uh, this panel installation. As I believe that in the future, this a lot of you will be using this because it is efficient after all. So these are the uh, joint connections. So this is the flooring slab. Okay, so they are going to apply ready fix. Okay, so I'll post the PowerPoint later on. So look into it. Okay, so I think this looks like a the beam. So if this is the wall here, so they're, they're going to use a towel or rebar that's 10 mm by 100 uh, mm deep. So then you're going to have an adhesive or sealant. So this is the bottom of the beam. It's the fast wall panel. Okay. And you could also do this. It's the rebar. Fast wall panel is the bottom of the beam. So it's really nice. Okay. So this is what happens. You're going to use a T-shape. Then an L shaped connection. So it says here that when the panel is used for humid environments or places that collect water, a 100 mm high base can be made at the bottom of the wall using C20 rock mortar. So rock mortar should be done beforehand. Wall panel can be installed on top of it after seven days. Then apply waterproofing to the mortar the surface of the wall. Uh, okay. And the concrete floor slab is the dowel. It is an inner fast wall panel, the baseboard, the adhesive or sealant, the floor tiles, and the mortar topping to the flooring or surface. Okay, then according to them, you can also embed pipes and electrical wires. So this is the top view. So this is where you're going to insert it. And to close it, you just need an adhesive uh, filler with mortar. Uh, okay. So maybe you can, you just use uh, uh, tools to set in the electrical grooving. Okay, so this is a fast wall pa uh, canopy uh, connection. So if this is the canopy option one, this is adhesive, and it's just a dowel to the beam. And it's canopy option two, so you can use it also as canopy. 
Yan yung connected to the beam. But one thing plus, I think it's only, only 0.6 meters. Okay? Depending on the situation, here in the Philippines, you'll need uh, longer than 0.6, especially if, it's, if uh, it rains. That's because of the angle of the rainfall. So you'll need at least twice this one to make sure that uh, it won't enter through your windows. But this is really cool. Okay, so this is the connection or the perspective. Okay, so these are the systems. And these are the types of screws that uh, will be needed. So they also made a comparative analysis. Okay, so I received this one. So this is what caught me, what caught my attention. Especially the 75 mm. So they made a comparison, which is nice. According to them, the cost per square meter for CHP is around uh, 1,672. The cost per square meter for the 75 mm is 1,300. Now, what is hidden here, class, is that, especially if your CHB is that you're going to have place more effort in making sure that your CHB wall is plumb and vertical. It's going to be hard to uh, check on that, uh, especially in the setting here in the Philippines. Um, abroad, it's easier. Uh, because the mindset of the people there are different, especially the workers. They really look into quality. And Filipinos also who go overseas, I think their views also change. But I'm wondering why here in the Philippines, it's really hard to make your people even, um, commit to total quality even if you're going to increase their salaries. So I tried it once, I gave them a high salary. But um, I had to correct everything because it is not plumb and straight hopefully if you're going to use their system it's, it will be straight but theoretically i think it's possible okay, so you're going to save around 300 pesos but i think that it's more than that especially when you consider the effort in checking and when there's going to be some mm, mistakes when using the chp so these are some of the features of the actual installation. So it's really in nice and interesting. One thing I, when I look at the pictures, is that, okay, let's move into the pictures. Okay, so they have done already a lot of projects. So they sent me a picture of the actual installation and it looked like this. Okay. So I believe thus that when you install their walls, walling system, uh, it would be better if you have not yet poured uh, concrete over your uh, columns so that it will be easier to dowel and connect the, the walling system. I think that's a great advantage. Uh, on their part okay then one advantage i have seen and uh, i have observed based on what they have sent me is that when you use their wall immediately i think you can you don't need to wait for a few days before you can paint so that's a good advantage so this is a cost comparison so you will look at this so it's easier to check if it's a uh, plumb so when you paint always all you have to do is apply uh, some something to hide this okay, connections and you need to paint. So yeah, you're going to save a lot on labor. Okay, so it's really nice. So let's look into some of the uh, videos they have sent me. At that one. Ah, okay. So the videos were not downloaded. 
Okay, so that's how they apply the dowels connection to the so it's really interesting. What I have read is that you only need point one to connect. Then you discover it. Okay, so let's look at another video. Okay. How about this one? So I'm showing you this video guys because it's really important for you to know the context on the reality of the installation of these new materials and systems in construction. So according to the supplier manufacturer, uh, you need around one day to do 45 square meters of wall. So now they're already connected. Let's look at the other videos. Oops, yeah. Let's look at this one. So I believe they are hammering the new walls. Okay. Again. Again. Okay. They're checking the consistency of the concrete. Okay, so. I believe that you already have an idea of what I have shown you. It's an alternative uh, construction system. So, okay. I hope that you learned something, class, and someday you can you, sh you should be able to apply these these as well in your future projects as architects. So, if you have any questions or clarifications, uh, don't hesitate to ask. And through my email or send me a PM in Facebook. So I'll always answer as long as I'm online. Okay. This is really fascinating. Okay. Now I understand it completely. Okay, class. So see you next week. So I'll be posting our activity and the links for the pictures and the videos at our group page. Okay. 
stay safe.